Air Force flies into Mikey Stadium November 4th with a powerhouse. Receiver coach Bill Carpenter predicts upset, and he's not a man to argue with. Late in the first period of the scoreless game, Barry Armstrong pulls in a fink pass and heads for the goal line. Dennis Collins makes a saving tackle on the six. As the second quarter starts, Fink pushes his way into the end zone to put the cadets in front seven to nothing. But the Air Force, with one of the highest scoring offenses in the land, come back in the middle of the period with Rich Haney hitting Greg Smith for the tying TD. The half ends at seven and seven. In the third period, the Army goes ahead, 10 to seven, but the Air Force's Rich Haney finds Bob Farr with this pass, and for the first time, the favored Falcons are in front 14 to 10. But it's at this point that Army's Bob Hines takes command of the offense. Running out of the eye, he tears through the Air Force defense. In the second half, Hines, the heart charger from Chester, Pennsylvania, explodes and ends up setting a single-game rushing record at West Point. Bob Hines, number 44, rushes for 202 yards in 38 carries. With the air attack stalled, he does it all. With 6.13 left in the game, Hines breaks for pay dirt from the Air Force 49. The play is called the Hundo Special. Weeks later, he will drive Navy crazy with its near-perfect execution. His performance this day earns him Associated Press Bank of the Week honors and a stunning 17-14 upset win over the Air Force. The big victory wasn't all Bob Hines doing. The defense kept pressure on Haney and enabled the secondary to steal his passes left and right. The Army intercepted Haney six times. Twice, Mercer Ferguson stole the ball away from Air Force receivers. He was joined in his thievery by Joe Ferloni and Grover Daly, and also getting into the act was number 56, Jim Sizzik. And on the last play of the game, Grover Daly did it once more. This day, the Army team would not give in, not let up. This was the type of day that a coach could look at his team and be proud of the spirit at West Point.